Hello, I want to welcome you to this ministry. My name is David. I appreciate you tuning in once again. We're going to be in the book of First Thessalonians, and this is where Paul shows concern about the churches that he has founded and planted in Thessalonica. Let's read this. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Wherefore, when we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone, and sent Timothy, our brother and minister of God, and our favor, fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, that no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain. <clears throat> but now, when Timothy came from you unto us, and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity, and that ye have good remembrance of us always, desiring greatly to see us, as we also to see you. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in our affliction and distress by your faith. For now we live, if ye stand fast in the Lord. You know, we're all going to su suffer different tribulations along the way. And we have an opportunity to partake in the sufferings of Christ and also the tribulations of Christ, that we stand fast in our faith and care for one another and live a life, live a life that will never end, even on into eternity. Paul was happy to hear about the church at Thessalonica. He was happy to hear that due uh, even due to their sufferings and their tribulations, that they were doing well and looked forward to seeing him again. And he looked forward to seeing them again. I can think of many people in different churches that we've worshipped with along the way and in our walk with the Lord, and some of them we don't see as much as we did uh, at, at another point in time in our life. But we still love them, and it's always good to hear about their faith and that they're still steadfast and walking with the Lord. So that's what we need to do. We need to care about others and look forward to hearing about them. And we ourselves need to have a witness and testimony in our lives that if someone hears about us, that they can be joyful and know that, that we continue on and are steadfast in the building and the multiplication of the church through us and in our lives. Praise God for what He enables in us and what He enables us to do for other people. I'd like to go into a prayer meeting today as I'd like to pray for Brother James Cobb, Brother Preacher James Cobb, and he's having a, a heart stress test done, and I want to pray that all goes well for James. We want to pray for Kim Sutton as Adelie is going for <clears throat> Adelie is going for PET and CT scans, and we just hope everything goes well for her. And we want to pray for her this morning. And Phyllis Hensley is also praying for her and for uh, relief and, and and healing of any type of sickness or cancer situation. We want to pray for Judy Ann Ayers as she starts a, a five-day infusion, and we want to pray for her health, that this helps her uh, along the way to being well and being uh, healed in things that's going on in her health situation. We want to pray for Kelly Ray today and, and for her surgery today. We want to pray that all goes well there. We want to pray for... Uh, Lee Garrett, but Lee, uh, we want to pray for Lee, Sister Lee, we appreciate her, but we also want to uh, pray for Corbin, a prayer request of Lee's and for Corbin's health. We want to pray with 
Janice Cumbie today, and she has prayer for her daddy and her family, and, and this is a time in, in which they uh, uh, need and ask for prayer, all they can get. We want to pray for Artie Scott, an upcoming procedure, and that all goes well with Artie. We want to pray for Tommy White and, and for his care for his cousin's husband, Clarence, that uh, has a health situation. We want to pray for healing and that all goes well with Clarence. Now you lift up your prayer request and add them in this prayer meeting. Dear God, we come to you in prayer. Father, we thank you so much that we can approach you through our relationship with your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we lift up these prayer requests that we've made mention of here and also the prayer request for the viewers that may be praying and lifting up something to you in this prayer meeting. We thank you and we praise you. God, we, we thank uh, uh, the opportunity this very moment if someone's lost that they could pray to you and ask you to forgive them for their sins and you'll do just that through them believing and having faith that Jesus is the Son of God. All of these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us this morning. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.